Welcome back to Richo Hobby and Art. Today I'm on the set of Richo Woodworking because I'm going to talk about this glove and my little ensemble. Uh, this is a baseball theme because we're getting ready for the Olympics or the Olympics are going on when you uh, watch this video. This is the 2024 Olympics in Paris. And so this glove was recently featured in a parody I did on Richo Woodworking of uh, some of the different sport, sporting events that you have during the Olympics and sort of my take on it. It's a fun little parody. I'll leave a link to that in the, in the description. The outfit is from the Down East Wood Ducks. It's a team in Kinston, North Carolina under the Texas Rangers. It was sold a couple of years, let's see, yeah, it was sold a couple of years ago. And so this is their last season. Uh, I went to one game, July 1st, 2022, and got this lovely little shirt. They were giving it to everyone who came into the ballpark. Uh, you know, the first, I don't know how many people, they just give it to you in a plastic bag. So um, it's sort of a Christmas in July theme. We've got a duck with a Christmas hat and lights around it. And so, and then the hat I bought in the gift shop thinking I would go back. Little did I know that in a few months we would be moving to Eastern Tennessee and that would be the end of my time with the Wood Ducks. And this is actually their last season in Kinston. They're moving to Spartansburg, uh, South Carolina, and will become the Spartanburgers. So, end of the Wood Ducks. But you're here to see the glove. I found one like this online, on eBay, in a little slightly better condition so I could see what all, but everything matches. It does say down here, professional, A2170. Over here it says the ball hawk. I do see the, you know, what you can see of Wilson is just very uh, hard to see, but it, you can see the N of Wilson. On the side it says, it's a Wilson. And of course it's on the button on the back. And so, this, um, I was told that this was uh, purchased in the early 1950s. According to their website, this design came out at the end of the 40s. So, that makes sense. I, my dad, still alive, um, he remembers his dad getting it. His dad, my grandfather, did play on little um, little town teams that in Iowa back in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, I guess. And so um, he may have used it. Dad remembers using it as when he was, let's see, he was born in the early 40s. So he remembers using it in his uh, childhood years into high school. So it's, you know, it's in pretty bad condition. So the glove itself, it's been used. It's been, it's not a catcher's mitt, it's just a general ball glove, and that's the way these looked back then. Um, before they were kind of more like a circle, then they had these, what they call, well there's a two finger for a while, then a three finger, you would put, you know, you kind of do this sort of an arrangement with your, with your hand. Um, and then they, they, you know, over time they added more fingers and then they got this, you know, what they have today. This web design really came about with this glove and maybe the one before it. But from what I read on the Wilson website, putting this in is really kind of what turned into what they have today. Uh, you know, most of this is, this is going to be pretty much all leather. Even, uh, the, you know, the ties and all that are going to be leather. Uh, compared to what, they, and I think it's still leather today, maybe mixed with some plastic, I'm not sure. I haven't owned a modern glove for years. And what, you know, what I owned in the 80s is certainly different than what they might be using today. Um, so this has been used quite a bit. You can see a little, you could maybe be able to see the end for Wilson, but it would say Wilson Professional A2170. And at first I thought that was an 8, but it is a 0. And then over here on the side it says the ball hawk. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, and then of course on the back you've got the Wilson and there was two slots uh, depending on your hand size. You could select one or the other. I'm going to guess it's been on this size size for years and I never changed it. Um, my dad used this a little bit when I was growing up. I had a ball glove and so he used this glove uh, for just playing you know, playing ball in the backyard kind of thing. There is information up here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's uh, it's got some numbers. It does say uh, two fingers here, um, and then there's patent numbers. So patent number here and just more numbers. So 
there's a lot of numbers right there it's uh you know it's not in the best condition there is mold on it and so and there are ways of removing mold from leather without damaging the leather so i can go ahead and do that but for now i'll probably just keep it um keep it as best as i can uh storage wise if you are interested in these kind of things there's plenty of them available on ebay for 50 to 60 dollars um, so they're not that expensive because there's a lot of them out there uh, and this is of course in pretty bad condition so anyway this is my grandfather's and father's uh, professional a2170 ball hawk wilson baseball glove thanks for watching